Under hashtag teaching people to see, I posted a quote this week that read, I am sight impaired, but I am most certainly not vision impaired. I am sight impaired, but I am most certainly not vision impaired. And when I was a kid, I used to do everything that any kid would do. I rode my bicycle, played video games, played outside with friends, basketball, kickball, dodgeball, you name it, I was probably out there doing it. Around the time that I was eight years old, my life would change drastically. Now, I can remember coming home from school, I went through my normal routine, did my homework, played outside with friends. I had eaten dinner with my mom, and that night as I was in the bathtub getting cleaned up for bed, I started noticing that things were looking a little different. The lights were blurry, and everything started looking faint. So I hopped out of the tub, and I can remember sitting on the bathroom counter looking into the mirror. That's when I knew something was extremely wrong. Because the reflection that I was so used to seeing in the glass, it was very distant and very faint. So I told my mom, and she had came in to the bathroom. And just as any good mom would do, she... She said everything would be okay. We we can just get some saline solution and clean my eyes out. Everything should be fine. Clean my eyes out. It made it feel better, but it didn't clear my sight any. So the next plan of action was let's just go to sleep. Everything will be okay in the morning, hopefully. When I woke up, nothing had really changed. My sight was still blurry. However, I thought I would be good enough to go to school that day. So I got dressed, got my backpack, made my way to made my way to school. But halfway through the day, teachers had to call my mom and they said, Miss Gillette, we need you to come get Alexis because he's not acting himself. He's acting out of character. He's bumping into things. We just don't know what's going on. So my mom came to school, picked me up, took me to the doctor, and after an examination, they said I needed to have an emergency operation because I was suffering from retina detachments. I had one operation, and it was successful. That was good. I could see well for, I would say, three or four weeks, and after that time, the same problem happened again. My retina detached. We had to have a second operation. That was successful. I could see well for another three or four weeks. And after that time, the same problem happened again. Retina is detached. We had to have a third operation. That was a pattern for the entire time that I was eight years old. In that year alone, I had 10 operations to try to fix the issue. After the last one, doctors said that there was nothing else they could do to help my sight and they said I would eventually become blind <laughs> as an eight year old I think the first thing that popped into my head was am I going to be able to ride my bicycle anymore am I going to be able to play video games or shoot baskets play dodgeball after we left that office the routine now became I would go home do my homework, play outside with friends, eat dinner with my mom, get cleaned up for bed, go to sleep, wake up the next morning only to see a little less than what I did the day before until one day I woke up and I couldn't see anything. Now I came to the realization that I couldn't see that black huffy bike anymore. I couldn't see well enough or anything to play Super Mario Brothers 3 on my Nintendo. I couldn't draw those pictures anymore. But most importantly, now I, I couldn't see my mom. I couldn't see the neighborhood that I grew up in. That was really tough. 
But I will say it's amazing to have a great support system. My mom, she's been phenomenal. I've had great teachers. I've had great friends and still have great friends. After I lost my sight, my mom had vowed to teach me everything that I would need to know in order to be successful in life, to be independent, to be able to live out on my own. So the first thing she did was she found someone to teach me how to read Braille. That's how I was able to get through the rest of elementary school, middle school, high school, college. She found someone to teach me how to use a cane so I could navigate on my own, walk around school, find my classrooms, walk around my neighborhood, walk around the community, navigate airports, navigate the world. And that helped me out tremendously because now I was able to get my education and I was also able to explore this world. When I when I made it to high school, I met Mr. Whitmer, who was my visually impaired teacher, and he was the one who introduced me to track and field. He told me about Paralympic sport. And with his assistance, I'm now a Paralympian. I'm a Paralympic medalist, multiple time Paralympic medalist. I'm a world champion, a world record holder. And it's all because of his help, because of his assistance. I can name tons and tons of people, but the main message is that my mom, Mr. Whitmer, and so many people, they were teaching me to see, to see my potential, to see who I was capable of becoming, seeing where I could go and all of the things that I could do. So going back to the quote, I am sight impaired, but I am most certainly not vision impaired. There's nothing wrong with my vision. There may be something wrong with my sight. But when it comes to vision, seeing something for the future, seeing the possibilities, the potential. Oh, that there's nothing wrong in that department, if you ask me. And I believe that same thing for you, you never know how life is going to turn out. Things may be good one day, the next day, your whole life can turn upside down. But when you have a vision, you can see the possibilities. You can see the potential. You can see what you can do, where you can go and who you can become. When you have a vision, it can carry you through the midst of difficult times in life. So whatever it is you may go through, it may impair you for a little bit, but always have a vision because that's what's going to carry you to nothing but success and nothing but greatness in life.